I just bought the cheapest bow I could find on Amazon. Today we're going to test it out, see how good it is, and also go hunting with it. So here's the bow. Well, it's in the box right now, but this is the cheapest bow I could find on Amazon. Let's go and unbox this thing. I actually got this bow on sale. Originally it was $35, I think, and I got it on sale for $19 for a bow. It's a 40 pound draw weight bow, so in your state that might be legal to hunt deer with. But is it good enough to hunt deer? We're gonna find out. But we're not gonna be hunting deer in this video because it's summertime, that would be illegal. Some wrapping. Okay, so here's the bow. I, it must be a takedown. I didn't really look at it, the picture. I just saw it was $19 and I bought it. There we go. Owner's manual. Here is the riser. I think that's what it's called. And both of the limbs. And it comes with a little bag with the screws to put it together. How does this work? Owner's manual. First go ahead and put the limb in, then it comes with this little washer thing, put that over, and then the bolt just screws right in. And then tighten it up with this little Allen wrench. And we're good to go. Now I just need to do that with this side. Here's our string, like all tangled up. Look at that. All right, now I need to go put the string on. Oh gosh, I do not trust these limbs putting this on. There it is. I'm scared to pull this back. I heard something start cracking a little bit, but it stopped. There's like no weight right here, hardly at all. But then it starts, that feels like 40 pounds right there. Okay, I only brought one arrow. Um, we're gonna take the first shot. The arrow like doesn't even go on the string right. I forgot to bring a bow target, so I'm just gonna shoot at this bank right there. Hopefully I don't break my arrow. Sounded like it hit a rock. Okay, my arrow's good. Can you guys see this bright leaf? I'm gonna aim for it right here. I'm setting it right there, I'm gonna try to hit it. All right guys, I just snuck in on a rabbit sitting right, he's right there. We're gonna try to take him out with the cheap. Oh gosh, I missed him horribly. All right, let's try this again. The rabbit's giving us another shot. Oh, that was like that close to hitting the leaf. Check it out, my accuracy is getting good. That's like an inch from hitting the leaf, almost hitting the rabbit. Okay, so what are my first thoughts on this bow? Is it worth $20? So far, yes, like for $20, this is like you're getting a bow that could kill a deer. But could it kill a deer? I've never killed a deer with a long recurve bow before, but if a deer was standing like three feet in front of me and I had a good broad hit on there, I think I could kill it if I hit it in the heart. Probably. Okay guys, so before we go hunting with this bow, we gotta do a couple modifications. So the first thing I'm gonna do, can't remember what it's called, but it's like that little piece of metal that goes on the string to hold the arrow in place. I don't have one of those things, but I found this little piece of wire looking thing. I'm just going to hammer it on there. So, get my arrow where I want it to be. Just got this hatch right here, hopefully can get it down there. Okay, that actually worked out perfectly. I wasn't expecting that. So right now in the summer, there isn't a lot to hunt around here. So what we're gonna be doing is bow fishing. A couple years ago, last year, I made this little bow fishing thing, homemade reel out of a Coke bottle and got my bow fishing arrow right here. The problem with this bow is it has no hole right here to drill this, to screw this into. Oh, wait a second. I was thinking the hole was supposed to be right here. I just looked down. There's a hole, perfect, right there. It's even got threads in there too, that is perfect. And just like that, we are ready to go bow fishing. Okay, so right down there I put up an old bow target. We're gonna take a shot at it, see if I can actually hit it. It's only like 20 feet away, so it shouldn't be too hard. Boom, that's a dead part carp. And then when we get them, we just reel that thing in. All right guys, so it's like two or three weeks later actually, and we're at the lake. Well, this is actually the spillway that comes out of the lake. 
And you know, I got the bow right here. We're gonna be trying to get a carp with it. This is like my third time coming here to check the water. Finally low enough to be able to see the carp swimming around in the water, I think. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to spot some swimming around. What I'm looking for is the really deep holes in the river. Um, right here's a pretty deep spot. There's some more up ahead. So I got you guys on the GoPro. I'm just gonna put you on my head and take some shots. You seen any carp around here? You still see them? Right oh, really? Okay, thanks. Oh, here's one. Oh, that was a fail. There's a good spot right over here. A lot of times there's some carp under it. Let's see if we can find any. All right, guys, there's one right there in the shallows. Be very stealthy. Oh, did I get him? No! I shot right over him. That would have been so good. I thought I got that thing. Oh, I gotta wind this back up. All right, let's see if we can find another. Guys, do you see that big one right there? I don't know, he might be stuck on something. I can't tell. I'm gonna try to shoot him. It's like angled weird. Oh, I got that. I got that. I got him, I got him, I got him. What? It's tangled up. Yes. Got him. Guys, that was like a perfect shot. He didn't, he's not even moving or breathing or anything. This thing is ugly though. Look, look at this tail. It's like all broken. It's like his back is broken or something. I noticed that when he was trying to swim, but that is an ugly carp. Do I really want to eat this thing? I mean, look at the shot though. Good shot. Now we got to unloosen the tip so I can flip the barbs backwards. <sighs> then pull the arrow out. All right guys, we're at the cabin, got this massive, ugly, diseased carp, and basically, I'm gonna just throw it on the fire. Just let it cook there like that. I just let this thing sit in here for over half hour. I don't even know if it's done. It's still raw. What the heck, it's still raw. Like, completely raw. I've already restarted the fire two times and it still hasn't cooked it. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just gonna leave that for the raccoons to eat. Hit the like button and subscribe if you liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.